Lecture by CYC Chen Cynthia. You can pause anytime you need. 你可以随时按下暂停键。Make sure have your tools ready. Okay, today we are going to do a bird house with a bunch of the birds. So today I am going to teach you a few ways to do the bird. Okay, so first. We have to separate the paper in half. So find the center. Where's the middle? The middle of the paper, which means right and left, has to be the same. Okay, because one side, I'm going to do a birdhouse. The other side, you are going to put the birdie. On the left, okay. So half half. So first of all, we are going to do the bird house. So find a dot right here. How big? You see, it's very close to the middle line. And on the right, are more far away. Okay. Then one over it. See the line is diagonal line and over the center line, right here. Okay, then we are going to have another line on the other side. So let me got my ruler so you can compare. These two lines are almost the same. Almost the same height, see? Not too low, not too high, about the same. All right. Okay. So we can see that is the roof of the birdhouse, but we are not using the paper to make the birdhouse, right? We want the birdhouse stronger, more stable. So that's add the line under it. Double, double. Okay. Close, close. Okay. Now I want to have two line. One. Again, we don't want the birdhouse too weak, so we are going to add the double lines. Double line. And double line. Okay, then we can close the bottom. See, I still have some space at the bottom. Right? Now, I want to do the diagonal line all the way out of the paper. It's going up. It's going this direction. It's going up. There. Okay. So one more time. This time we are doing from the roof. Going up. Okay. And this time is a little bit tricky because we are going to be like the horizontal and stop and diagonal line. So this one. And this one are the same. So let me place the pencil crayon so that I can help you. See the first diagonal line for the roof we made is the brown line. And I use the same angle, like the pink one. Move over. See the back. They are the same. They are the same angle. So make sure the front diagonal line and the back diagonal line are the same angle. Okay, it doesn't look like this way, this way, or this way. It has to be looks like the same. Okay. All right. So how can the bird live inside? They need to have a hole, not a door. 
I need to have a hole. So you can have a hole like the circle, rectangle, triangle, even the heart shape. Okay, so I have a circle. So same thing, it's not made by the paper. So I'm going to write the letter C inside the circle. Looks like this. can raise the birdhouse high. Alright, now I can erase the center line of the paper. I don't need this anymore because I done my birdhouse. Okay, then remember I told you we are going to do a bunch of the birds. Alright, so I'm going to do something on my other piece of paper. But then you move around. Okay. So maybe you can find one that you really like. So first, you can do a water shape. Okay, so the top is around, the bottom is pointed. You like the water drop. Right? Then we can have the wings. And we can have their beak, the big eye. Okay? The cross, their feet, like the letter E. See? And you can have the tail. Okay, so that's one type of the bird. So you can do like the oval shape. Okay, and you can have the wings. One on this side. Like the laser Y, very small and cute. Then the eye, they are seen, so I have their mouths open. Okay, so there's another type the head, the body, right? And I want to have a triangle. Triangle, the feather, one, two, three, four, same for the other side, one, two, three, and four. So same thing, their feet, their tail, one, two, three, four. You can have their eye. You can have the eye bigger, up to you, your choice. Okay? So you can have the bird, they are far, far away. Like the letter M. I believe you can do that. Or you can have a bird is standing. So, letter C. Like the snowman. But just two. Like the peanut shape. Okay? And the cross under, and they are not flying, they just want to take a rest on the branch. And I like to have the hair, some pattern. Okay, so I will leave my paper right here. Oh, maybe on the other side, so you can see both. Okay, so I have something right here, you can see it, good, perfect. So let me write down birds. Okay, so I was thinking one of the birds right here and is flying. 
okay? I will use the marker so you can see it's more clear. But if you are afraid to make the mistake, of course, you can always start with the pencils, okay? So I want my bird is flying. This bird is very small. One of the birds standing on top of the roof. And he is not flying. So the wing is not open. Close the wing. It's resting. Alright. So now it's your turn to start to add in your bird. You can decorate your birdhouse. So do they need the food? Do they need the doorbell? Do they need the mailbox? So all is up to you, okay? So you can start to using your pencil to add in the detail and the background. And when you're done, please don't forget to trace it with the markers and with the line weight. Big part big marker small part small marker if you don't have the small marker you can use the pencil crayon to help you to trace somewhere small all right now you can begin let's take your time to complete your drawing don't be rushed you might need to think about it imagine it and create it and draw them down Okay, so you might need to think about it. How can you complete your drawing and how can you make your drawing looks even better? So think about it before you start to add anything on it. Okay, so think and imagine and create it. Remember, don't be rushed, take your time. Don't forget, good art always takes time.
Remember, don't be rushed. Take your time. That's it. Any detail you forget to add it, and don't forget every small part that you might need it. Don't forget, good art always takes time. No worrying if you need more time to complete your awesome work. Okay, so that's see what I have. I have two birds, just like I show you, and I add in the pattern for my birdhouse. So it looks like my birdhouse is made by the wood because I add some wood texture, right? And the tree, the log. And I add in some leaf, and I have some pattern for my little birdie. Okay, so that's show you the line weight. Where is the line weight? Do you see the thick line? I trace everywhere are big, and all the small patterns, small area. I trace with the thin markers. Okay, so you can see the line weight. Big parts, big markers, small area, the patterns, the background, we use the thin markers. So don't get this wrong, okay? So find the right markers to trace the right place. Big part, big marker, small part, small markers. Okay, now you can begin to trace. After we finish tracing, we are going to have our three minutes break time. Okay, so if you haven't done your tracing, so take your time to finish your outlining or your background in the water break. If you're done with the tracing, you can enjoy your free break time. Okay. Anyway, you have to come back after three minutes. We are going to start to color all together. Break time for three minutes. During the break time, you can go to drink some water or your juice, and even you can have some snack. It is also a nice time for you to go to the washroom, and don't forget to wash your hand after you finish the toilet. And don't forget to move your body around. You can walk around, jumping up and down, and do some exercise for your body. And you also can look in out of the window, something far, far away to relax your eye. Using your break time wisely, okay? Do something that you should do right now, and don't forget to come back later.
Welcome back, everyone. Okay, so welcome back, everyone. We are going to start to color our birdhouse and the birdie. You can use the color markers as usual. And you also can use the pencil crayon, even the crayon if you want to. Okay, so when you color, can you choose any colors you like? Yes, you always can choose the color you like to color any way you want. But no scribbling. You must to keep the color inside the shape. No white space. You have to color them very soft and neat. Okay? So you don't have to color it very, very hard. You can relax your muscles, okay? So be gentle and slow down. Don't be rushed. Take your time to make your color look perfect and pretty.
when you finish the coloring, I want you to double check because sometimes we will forget somewhere very small. And that's it. Which part I haven't covered yet. Let's see it all together. Okay, so I covered the bird. Yeah, check. I have nothing to forget. And check my second bird. And all the color, all the small thing got the color. Check. I got all the color in. Now let's see my bird house. Oopsie, I forgot to color this something small. It's the lock. I forgot to color this small, small oval. See, I forgot the color. So I have to fill the color in. So when you finish the coloring, I want you to take some time to look everywhere on your drawing. Do you miss anything? Okay, so don't forget, you have to double check. So, when you finish your color and everything looks awesome, then you can find a place and sign the name and write down the date. When you complete your drawing, sign the name and write down the date. 完成画作之后，签下你的名字，跟写上日期。don't forget to take a photo of your drawing and send it to us. 不要忘记帮你的作品拍上照片寄给我们哦! And don't forget to clean out the table before you go. 不要忘记清洁你的桌子哦! Bye bye! See you next time!